explaining. Just, just as there are people who believe that the world is a physical structure, more and more people are waking up to the idea that there's nothing physical about this existence at all. This is the central nervous system's way of keeping us imprisoned into a maze, keeping us as mice because it allows us to see and hear and taste and touch and smell. But the central nervous system, as soon as we intellectually or spiritually begin believing that, man, this isn't real, this is bullshit. Man, this can't this ain't even be possible, man. I'm in a circus. I am living and observing a circus when I watch the news. Now, this, is, this can't be real. But I go to bed at night. And when I go to bed at night, I have to. To go to sleep and when I go to sleep I enter REM and when I enter REM my central nervous system is jacked right back into the simulacrum's hardware when that happens it uploads all the stuff I'm supposed to experience the next day or all the coding for the reality tunnels that I could experience so we're jacked into a system that's always going it's always going to keep us imprisoned here but these resets are going to loosen up that dungeon programming for resets the fifth one is complete freedom. He came to set the captives free. He's the chief cornerstone, the head of the corner. So, <coughs> a very Gnostic concept, but I know Christians will claim will claim that, that, that they are the originators of that concept. And I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't care what the origin is. All I care is that it does happen. So, <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Uh, Crystal Shaman, I haven't seen your name in a while. How you doing? Steve Miller. What kind of music you play? Let's see. Hi, hi Steve. <clears throat> oh yeah, Steve, I will post those resources for the Israelite stuff. Uh <clears throat> as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, uh all those Israelite videos are coming from Chronicon. The resources are ever under every date heading in Chronicon. The PDF files are absolutely free on archaics.com. Whatever you want to know resources came from, the bottom of each date heading is, is a series of listings of, of, of the dates, and they're even numeric. I mean, in the paragraph, I might have one. Well, that just goes in the bibliography underneath that date. Look for one, and you'll find out that that book came from, like, uh, Tertium Organum or whatever. Uh, so on the Israelite stuff, almost all the, the the sources are there. However, I do have 750 pages of new new data. I will post those resources as well. Yeah, that's a fascinating study. I'm going to I'm going to uh, release a lot more of those videos. Let's see, Crystal Shaman, what kind of emoji is that? Okay. Yes, yeah, just came on. Sorry, I was on the phone with the little family. All right, yeah, in another state. Yeah, man, I know, man. I, I know how it is. Believe that. <clears throat> Hello, Shanta. Good seeing you again. <clears throat> okay, Shanta. You asked a question. Why did you choose the year 1998 for the point for the forecast in 2021? All right. 1998 is a very interesting year. <clears throat> I didn't put it in the video because it wasn't relative to the political to the political predictions. But 1998 was a year that even Edgar Casey in one of his readings. You can Google that. Google Edgar Casey and what he said about the year 1998. But uh, what I found is independent of Casey, though. I found 1998 to be the isometric epicenter, the exact center year going back to, to 1890, 108 years. Remember, the number 108 is very significant in calendrical systems in the ancient East 4,000 years ago. Now, 1998 is 108 years after 1890 but it's also 108 years to the 6,000th year of the simulacrum the year 2106 AD the return of the chief cornerstone now remember the 6,000 years is not the Christian misinterpreted 6,000 years of the creation it is the 6,000 years since the new heavens and the new earth were written in to our, our existence that new heavens and new new earth was a lithospheric displacement it was a world destroying cataclysm caused by Phoenix in the year 3895 BC and in 3895 BC in the month of May became the ancient world's year one I'm not making that up that was the Alexandrian scribes that's in the, the Jewish Haggadah in the book of Jasher even the book of Genesis says the pre-flood world was 1656 years and attaches that 1656 years at the end of it to a great flood claiming that that great that great flood 
uh, claiming that great flood was 252 years before the birth of Abraham. But we find from over a 40 different ancient sources that the, the birth of Abraham, all the way to Rashi 1,000 years ago, claimed that the birth of Abraham was 1947 BC. You follow me? You follow me in the chronology here? We have so many different sources that have this chronology down perfect. It was James Usher that changed it. And, and Usher's chronology is completely contorted so many things, just like Zechariah Sitchin's interpretation of Sumerian chronological data has all absolutely created a tooth fairy version of history that could have never happened. For example, many of you have heard me tell about Zechariah Sitchin's 432,000 shards days could never have been 432,000 years because the calendars that were existing at the day were the Zapotec, the Olmec, the, 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 the Quiche, the Maya, the Temple of the Cross Mayan calendar, the Vedic calendar, the Kali Yuga calendar, and the Sumerian calendars. And every single one of those were, were in units of 144,000 days, not years. And 432,000 years, according to Sitchin, from the descent of the Anunnaki to the Great Flood would have never made sense because nothing living 432,000 years later would have any relevance to what it was at the, at the end of that time period. And in 432,000 years, there's probably 40 different worldwide floods in that period, or at least cataclysms. So, but when we abbreviate it to the earlier units of time of all the other calendars, it's 432,000 days. Just like the Puranic texts, which read that the gods descended 12 centuries before the great deluge of Manu. Manu is the Vedic Noah. Okay, well, there it is. It's from an ancient text that was 12 centuries. So my interpretation of the 432,000 day, days divide, divided by 360, the holy unit of all the ancient old calendars, is 12 centuries. It's, it's real simple. Now, <clears throat> with the... <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, I missed... <clears throat> also, anyway, with the <clears throat> 1998... Isometric epicenter of 1998 is very interesting because it's like 1998 in the in the arithmetic of the simulacrum is the drop of water that hits the pool of time. All the ripples going backwards and forwards in time are, are year waverings. Each one equals a year, making 1999 the year after equal to 1997 the year before. And you can follow that ripple all the way out till 1890, which is really interesting. <coughs> because there were events in 1890 that totally mirror what the prophecies say are go is going to happen in the year 2106. And I have videos coming on that very soon. If th those of you who have never read the discoveries of Charles Ford and what he documented are going to be shocked. The man was a genius. It's just awesome. So, uh, 1998, uh, for, any, for those of you who want to do experiments yourselves, anybody can do these experiments. Whatever you want to know is, is basically going to happen in world events like in 2022. Count the years from 1998 to whatever year you want to know in the future. And then go look up all the major events that happened in the corresponding years in the past. If it's, if it's 34 years, check it out, if it's 34 years into the future, then 34 years plus 1998. Take those same 34 years minus 1998. And you're going to see holographic patterns that are shocking. And often they're conceptual. Such I'll give you an example. 2046, the holographic reflection for 2046 is in the year 1950. A lot of major events are very interesting for, for, 19, for what's going to happen in 2046 and 1950. But in the scientific world, there was, a, there was several books that were published in 1950 that concern what's going to happen in a cataclysm if Earth is moved out of its place. It's, uh, it's, very, it's just so, it's so astonishing. The whole study is astonishing. In the year 1890, there was a vision of thousands of people who thought they saw what appeared to be the sky opening up like a giant portal. And they watched for a long period of time in the clouds and they swore up and down that they were looking at a city fully intact descending to earth. And then it all faded away. That was in the year 1890. 108 years before 1998, but 108 years after 1998 is the year 6,000. It is the it is the 
2106. It's 2106 AD, Anno Domini, which is the year 6000 Annus Mundi. And in the year 6000 is what we have in all the prophecies as the return of chief, who, the chief cornerstone who will descend from heaven. And we have passages in the Bible about Abraham went and looked for a city 